come to an area where there is a great need. If you judge by the number of people who, are, who came for the service, it really shows that people need the service. Now, if you see the numbers that came here today and then take in 15 clinics that we run and you multiply that by 50 by 15, you will see that the need is much more. Because when we do see them two or three years from now, if they have cancer, that cancer is advanced, there's nothing we can do. So today it says we can catch them early, we can start treating them early so that the outcomes can be more favorable. If people are going to come here and they are going to be screened and be done a mammogram at a community, for us, it's something that we don't take lightly because we are going to get a lot of women that will be done pap smear with the results that are going to get quicker and we are going to see uh, women either being put on treatment immediately as well as uh, some other services like um, further screening for cervical cancer, like if they will be done leads quickly, which will then prevent cancer from spreading. For the district, it's going to yield a lot, including um, the fact that we will be getting the results here and now. And we have the specialist teams that you have, the doctors that are here. So if anyone needs to be seen for something, um, the complications, they are seen by the specialist teams here. This is something that we really need, but we hardly do, or we hardly have access to having done. It's not like we do not want to do it, but where do you go? You go to Ngwelezane and they tell you, are you sick? That's the first question. They would ask you, are you sick? And you'd be like, no. And we're like, no, okay, fine. Until they wait for you to get sick, now they start investigating. So this pre-investigation is what everybody in this community and in the whole country needs. We thank you for that. In this area, especially, the eastern region of Eastern Cape. There is a lot of cancer to our people and the majority of them they present very late of which there are two reasons which might be contributing to that. Uh, the, 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 the ignorance that they don't know about cancer. The second one being the unavailability of the areas to screen. Therefore I say this private partnership has done a marvelous job for the community. And I'm really sure the community members, the stakeholders of this region are very happy to be with Big Drive. And a lot is going to happen because a lot of people have been here and they will be diagnosed if they've got any abnormalities. This is really a service that has been needed by the communities and that is why Pink Drive assists in people getting their results much quicker than they do in our public institutions is probably the reason why we've had so many people coming. We are happy that as a company we are doing our bit, our part in assisting in helping the communities in the area of health. We have never had such appreciation from the community. What has been most overwhelming is their desire to want to know more. We leave these areas filled with joy, knowing that we have made a difference on the ground, but that would never have happened if it wasn't for the funding from Rio Tinto and Richards Bay Minerals. So for, for us, we would like to thank Pink Drive uh, working together with Rio Tinto because they picked us and I'm not sure what informed them, but they picked the right choice because we are the people in need and we are the region in need. And thank you and hope that you will come back very soon.